In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can organize your DATs and explain um, the naming convention changes with the different options. So going back to our getting started example, we have a couple of different DATs in the no intro folder. Now when there's more than one DAT in a folder, what ROM Vault will do is it will use the name tag inside of the DAT for the name of the directory. So if we look at this DAT, we can see that the name is Atari 2600. So therefore, the name in the tree is Atari 2600. Now, if you wanted to use the description tag instead, there's a directory setting for that. In this case, it wouldn't really do anything because the name and the description are exactly the same. But some DATs have additional information in the description, like the version info or a date or you know some other info. So let's just manually modify this just to see what it would do. So let's go ahead and modify this just so we can see a change. Let's save this. Close out that. And if I update my DATs, notice nothing changed because I didn't change any settings yet. But if I go in here and set my directory settings, there's an option to use the description instead of the name for auto added paths. So because there's more than one DAT in a directory, that would be considered an auto added path. So let's go ahead and do that and apply. Notice now it pulled in the description instead. Okay, but then now notice something else happened here. So because the DAT root um, mirrors your ROMs, um, this is basically saying my ROMs are now in the wrong location because it's expecting them to be in a directory that has this you know, date stamp at the end of it. So to fix that, we can go ahead and do find fixes. And now you can see that ROM Vault wants to move um, all my ROMs from here to here, which is you know what I would expect. So let's go ahead and fix. And it moved everything, which is great. OK, so that's one way that you can modify the directories. There's the, um, you know, the, the name or description tags. But let's add another DAT into the mix. So let's go back to DAT Vault and pick something new. So let's go, let's grab another Game Gear DAT. Let's go take a look at the English translation DATs. Let's go in here. Let's pick out Sega Game Gear. Okay, let's go ahead and add it. And yeah, sure, let's just put it wherever it wants to go. I can always move it around later. Okay, so it added this into a directory called Others and then TEN Collection. That doesn't quite look right to me because I don't really see a directory for Sega Game Gear. The reason for that is because this DAT is alone in its own directory. If there's ever a single DAT in a directory, then it's going to use the name of that directory. So I want to change that. So in this case here, there's a few things I don't like. I don't like this others, you know, folder here, and I don't really like the lack of a space in here. So let's just tailor this to the way I like. So let's change this, let's add a space here. And then I want this to be in a folder called Sega Game Gear for consistency. Let's do Sega Game Gear. This way it's named the same way as no intro. Let's move that over here. And let's get rid of this others folder. I'm not really a fan of that. So we'll just move that over here, delete this. Okay, so now that I move things around, we can go ahead and update our dats. And you can see now, uh, this looks better. This looks more like how I want things stored. So again, let's go ahead and find fixes. We can see that I must have had a bunch of these scanned in one of my two sorts, so let's go ahead and fix that. And boom, we can see everything is moved to the correct location now, so it's green. Now, this is great. So now I know I have fine grain control over exactly how I, I want things uh, named just by placing a single dot in a directory and naming it however I want. But what if for some reason I wanted to merge dots together? Like I wanted to combine this and this in the same directory. Well, <coughs> excuse me, you can do that 
as long as there's no naming conflicts between um, the sets. So let's see what happens when I do that. So in this case here, maybe let's create a new, let's create a new folder. Let's say I'm gonna start a setup for LaunchBox. And in LaunchBox, let's set up a new directory for Sega Game Gear. All right, so now I got a Sega Game Gear folder in LaunchBox. So let's go ahead and just move this. Move that there. And I think I got one here. Yeah, let's move these as well. Okay, so now I have these in the same directory, which is good because I want them bundled together. Now here, let's get rid of this because I don't want it anymore. And let's update our dats and see what happens. Okay, so this updated and this looks okay, but now there's a two issues. One, it looks like these are still using um, the auto created directories. Um, from the name tag, which I don't really want. I'd rather merge these two things together. And the second issue is that this is now in just a folder called no intro. So why is that? Well, it's because there's only a single dat here now. So we can easily fix this just by, let's just create a new folder. Target 2600. Move that out. it again and that's good now it says Atari 2600 the way I like okay so we still need to solve this now what we can do is we can set some directory settings here and there's an option to not auto add directories um, this is useful in some situations when you just want to either always have control over your naming or if you want to um, merge dats together. So if I select this and hit apply, you can see what happens. Now these turn into this smaller font. And what this means is it's actually taking the content from both of these dats and merging them as if it's one big dat. So effectively what's gonna happen is all my ROMs will go into the LaunchBox Sega Game Gear folder um, from these two dats. Let's go ahead and find fixes and fix ROMs and boom. You can see that all of the um, ROMs from both of those locations, a little tricky to see. So got one from the old location there. And then we have some from the Sega Game Gear folder. These were all moved into this main uh, Sega Game Gear folder, which is exactly what I wanted. And there you have it. Those are the three main ways of um, organizing dats. You know, you have your automatic naming based off of the name tag. You have your automatic naming based off of the description tag. And you have your um, convention of, you know, using a single directory per dat, which will use the name of the directory. And then finally, the, the lesser used um, approach is to merge dats by um, but by putting them both in the same directory. Now this final approach won't always work because remember if there's any naming conflicts at all between any games in this set you're going to get an error. So watch what happens when I take um, I believe there's some naming conflicts between Atari 2600 and Game Gear games. You know there might be like a you know, Pong or whatever for both Game Gear and um, Atari 2600. So let's see what happens when I try to merge those together. Now, in this case, it doesn't make much sense. I typically wouldn't want to merge together 2600 and Game Gear games, but just for the sake of demonstration, let's update this and see what happens. So here, let's go back into this, update my directory settings and choose to not auto add directories. Yes, see when we do this, 
we get an error saying that there's a DAT merge conflict. And when you see this error, that basically means that there are two games in the DATs that um, are conflicting. And ROM Vault will not try to resolve that conflict. It will just give you an error, and then it will throw out one of the DATs. So basically, whenever you see that error, you're basically going to need to stop and reorganize you know, the, the way that you have things set up to, to you know, resolve that conflict. In the next video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into some of the more advanced directory rules. But for now, hope this helps.